بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My family, they is finished. My family. Synonymous with war, poverty, and displacement. Recent years became even more difficult here. Its pastoral areas witnessed almost no rains for three years. Their absence in early 2011 was a tipping point. By the middle of that year, millions across the country were facing famine. Ummah Welfare Trust, operating in Somalia since 2006, responded by launching a £10 million appeal, its largest ever. Throughout the crisis, the charity distributed food rations across Somalia and Kenya, which had also been declared an emergency zone, including at the Dadaab refugee camp. Water was transported daily to displace families in Bay and Bakol. Three water tankers, each carrying 40,000 litres of water, now provide water to thousands of families in the refugee camps of Mogadishu. The construction of 200 water wells is also well underway. Towards the end of 2011, three cargo planes were brought by Ummah Welfare Trust, laden with relief supplies. Due to these planes, tents, food packages, which last a month, and kitchen utensil sets, which last a lifetime, were distributed in Mogadishu, Bay, and Guido. Many of our brothers and sisters always live in hardship and neglect, widowed and orphaned families. Though given many rights in Islam, sadly fall into this category. Ummah Welfare Trust made a concerted effort to reach out to them. For the start of 2012, the charity provided relief supplies to the families of orphan children boarding at Markaz Umar ibn al-Khattab and Umm Salama orphanage in Baydoa Markaz Ali ibn Abi Talib in Barhakaba, Markaz ibn al Mubarak in Wanlawain, Tadamun Orphanage Center in Afgoe, Al Bir Orphanage in Wadajir, and Markaz Hamarwene and As Salam Orphanage in Mogadishu. Thousands more orphaned families across the Banadir region also received provisions. At Markaz Umar ibn al-Khattab orphanage, full support is being given to every child. Food, beds, clothing, books, medicines and much more have been provided to the 350 orphan children. Ummah Welfare Trust also extended a hand to the sick and disabled community. Ya 
هادي يا بديع يا باقي يا وارث يا رشيد يا صبور يا رشيد يا صبور سبحانك يا إله لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين اللهم اجعلنا المقبولين صلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد بارك الله فيك جزاك Disabled residents living in Martini Hospital, sick patients at Banadir Hospital and TB affected patients at the Beidoua Medical Center have all received food provisions. By the side of me is young Tahir. Tahir is 14 years old and he was injured in an explosion in Mogadishu when a mine exploded and uh, hit him directly on his hand as you can see and unfortunately his mother and father are very very old, they are unable to come here and be by his side and we just want to highlight that these are the people inshallah uh, innocent people who get injured uh, who get maimed we want to help them and we, thus we are providing the cooked food on behalf of Umar al-Qajas. While one million pounds worth of medical aid will be distributed across the country this year. To help in their rehabilitation Sick patients at Banadir Hospital and Medina Hospital are given freshly cooked rice, meat, vegetables and some fruit every day. Around 1,000 patients and their attendants benefit each day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donors in the UK you can see the condition of some of the children being affected by severe diseases and wounds here in Banadir Hospital. And many of these people are very poor. And if Umar Welfare Trust was not providing them with cooked food on a daily basis, then many of these would have to fend for themselves or die out of starvation. The Qurbani program last Eid saw 2,700 goats sacrificed. Alhamdulillah, approximately 100,000 displaced persons received fresh udhiya meat. The Kids for Kids campaign, which took place in the run-up to Eid, allowed thousands of displaced children living in Mogadishu to receive new gifts and clothes. Over 50,000 food packages have been distributed across Somalia and northern Kenya so far. The work continues. 10,000 kitchen sets and 8,000 family sets of clothing will be distributed in Somalia before this Ramadan. And in a unique project, Umma Welfare Trust will provide 5,000 displaced families with specially made steel shelters and the essentials with which to live their lives again. Donate £700 and a poor family will receive a steel home which lasts a lifetime. Clothing, food provisions, a kitchen and wash set, a hygiene set and copies of the Holy Quran. Relief goods will be shipped into Somalia throughout this year. 80 containers of goods have arrived so far. A further 130 will arrive this year. For Ramadan 2012, Umar Welfare Trust will distribute 30,000 iftar packages and 40,000 copies of the Holy Quran, inshallah. The hardship across the region remains, so therefore should our concern. The first Muhajirin of Islam were given shelter, food and security on this land. So let us not forget our obligations to its people and to the Ummah, the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Join Ummah Welfare Trust and let us go forward together in this life and for the next.